Hey, what is up YouTube? This is Alex again with another video. So today we're gonna be unboxing the TP-Link AC uh, 300. This is a Wi-Fi 6 adapter. Uh, I'm gonna hook it up to my Beast computer here, the one I built. Uh, I've been gaming on my Razer laptop, which has Wi-Fi 6 support, which I have a Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi 6 router in my home, uh, and I haven't had no issue whatsoever with gaming. So I wanted to make my my baby here. I wanted to make it uh, a Wi-Fi 6 compatible, so I bought this adapter. Uh, we're gonna run some speed tests now without this connected. As you can see, I'm on uh, speedtest.net. I'm gonna check the speeds now. And then we're gonna try it with Wi-Fi 6 so you guys just have an idea and see the difference that this little thing device will make. Anyway guys, uh, let's get straight to the video. All right guys, so let's run the first speed test. As you can see, let me see if I can show you guys. Over here, uh, this is my router. Uh, I'm connected to Wi-Fi as you can tell. Now let's just run the speed test. So remember guys, this is without the Wi-Fi 6 installed and I do have a, a great connection in my home. So as you can see, I'm getting a ping of 10 and I'm getting about 2, 250, 229, 230 speeds. I'm gonna do it three times just so you can have an average and then we're gonna connect the Wi-Fi 6 and you guys are gonna see the difference. So that's the upload speeds. I'm actually gonna just run it twice just cause I don't want to make this video real long. I want to make a short video this time. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the first uh, uh, test that we did was 262 and 11 megabytes per second and then the upload was 41. So we're gonna run it again. Just to get an average, as you can see, the ping just went down a little bit. But we're getting the average same speeds. Okay, we got 272 this time. You know what? I'm just going to run it one, one third time just to have like a better understanding. Because as you can see, a, a speed test always averages. Like They don't give you the exact same number every time. Okay, so the second test was 272.49 and 41.48 upload speeds. So let's run the final test. So this time I got an average speed of 288.25 download speeds and I'm getting 41 upload speeds. So an average, let's just say that the average was 275. Uh, let me stop the video now. Let me install the new adapter that I just got and let's try the speed test again. All right guys, so let's just unbox this real quick. See what comes inside. Okay, so you get a CD, which I don't know why they include this because who uses CDs anymore on computers? But anyway, let's put this on the side. Okay, so this is what comes in the box. You get this little uh, for the antenna, wireless adapter for the antenna, which you put on the top or anywhere you want. You also get this power cable that you connect to your... Ooh, let me see, I have to make sure. Oh yeah, I see one there. Okay, you could you use this for power. It comes with this little thing, so just in case. So you can put it over here. This is the what's it's gonna hold it. And then you get the adapter set itself. Let me put this on the side real quick. And then you get two antennas. So that's basically it. Let me just take this off, set the antennas. This is just so it could get a better coverage. There you go. Okay, so let's unbox this little thing here. So basically, this is all you need, as you can see. So all I'm gonna do is remove this from here. 
which I already took the screw out and just place it inside all right guys so I did I removed it because like I said before I didn't like the cables or how it shows up here so I have another one another slot down here which I'm gonna connect it to which I could just run the cables through here and then I'll connect it on the other side to let you guys know where I could connect this all right guys so I'm gonna add I'm gonna connect this one here It's real simple to connect. Now we're just gonna put this here. And basically it's already installed. Well, I just need to connect the, the USB power cable. I'm gonna leave it in the description if you wanna get it. I'm also gonna leave in the description the other, the other piece that you need to extend the USB uh, hubs or USB adapter for this one because uh, most motherboards only comes with one or two and like I said I use all of them already uh, so I had to buy an extension which I'm gonna connect the two now okay so I'm gonna pass it down through here and just grab it on the other side all right guys don't mind the cable management here I know it's not as pretty but since it's covered up but anyway guys what you need is this little adapter here which I'm not gonna pull out completely uh, let me see if I, could, if, you, if I could show you guys. This little adapter here. As you can see, I have an extra USB here. And this is the cable which I'm going to plug in. And basically, that's it. It's already connected. Let me just put it back in. Let me put the cover, the cover back in. So this part, I mean, it's not perfect. The cable management is not perfect, but but like I said, you do get, uh, to cover it up with this. So I'm not worried that much. And basically that's it. That was the installation. Now let's get to the computer and see the speeds. Okay guys, so I already installed it. Uh, just to let you know, this little adapter here is if you have a, a, a smaller motherboard uh, or a smaller case, this is just for use to use it for this, so you really don't need it. Uh, oh, one more thing to, to mention, which is important, which I liked a lot. This here has a, um, is like a magnet on the back, so so it gets, you know, it's good because the, my case is, is, is metal, so I put it on the back and it's not gonna go and move anywhere. So that's good because the other one I had, I had to put tape on it and I didn't like that. So thank you for including that. Anyway, guys, let's try the speeds now. All right, guys, it's already installed. Uh, I have my antenna already plugged in. Uh, let's just test the speeds. But anyway, first, uh, let me make sure I don't have to update anything. And let me disable the, the, in, uh, the Wi-Fi that's already on the motherboard. Let me disable that now. So manage, computer manage. We're gonna go to devices and we're gonna go to, okay, this is the new one that just installed. We're gonna, the real tech one, we're gonna disable this. Yes, we're gonna disable that one because that's the one that comes inside the computer which I won't be using anymore. Okay, so as you can see, it's already detected it. I'm going to connect to it now. Let me get closer. <clears throat> All right, I'm already connected. I'm already on Wi-Fi 6, so let's see the speed test now. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's see the speed test now. Okay, so remember guys, before we used to get 270, 275, 288. Let's see now with Wi-Fi 6. Look at those speeds, guys. Tell me if it's not a better upgrade. And I am on Wi-Fi, guys. Look, Wi-Fi right here. Wi-Fi connected, secure. All right, guys. So look at these speeds, guys. 
this is a great buy guys make sure you if you have a wi-fi 6 router you need to get this device it makes a huge difference look at that speed i'm almost getting 700 <laughs> that was a big difference guys let's do another test just to to check look at those speeds my speed triple guys make sure if you have a wi-fi 6 router please make sure you get a wi-fi 6 adapter for your computer because it makes a huge difference guys anyway guys thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video i hope this video was helpful and everything's going to be in the link in the description if you want to purchase it for yourself so guys i'll see you next time thanks again guys peace out